open AI is imploding. Cash is vanishing billions and billions of dollars. Talent is fleeing. The launch of their latest model, GPT 4.5, seems to have been a disaster. It's hugely expensive, its performance is underwhelming, and experts around the internet are not impressed. So could this be the end game for the makers of ChatGPT, which is, after all, by far the most popular large language model amongst the general public to date. So stick around because I'm going to explain exactly what went wrong with GPT 4.5 and discuss the possibility that the open AI empire could be on the brink of demise. So first of all, what is 4.5 and why is it being such a flop? GPT, which stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer, a fancy way of saying it's a very clever AI, was the chatbot that blew up and created the whole world of AI as we know it now. OpenAI, led by a man called Sam Altman, really were at the forefront of the AI revolution. Since the earliest GPT models, they've released many more, but their latest 4.5 has been overhyped and is now under delivering. It's actually far more expensive to run than most of the competition. In fact, a competitor from China called DeepSeek is far cheaper. GPT 4.5 appears to be around about 500 times more expensive to run than DeepSeek V3. And what are users getting for that? Well, not much. The problem for OpenAI now is that there are many different competitors who are all offering fairly similar products. For most use cases, you don't need advanced reasoning. And in any case, there is now Elon Musk's Grok. There is a Google product called Gemini. And of course, as I've mentioned, the Chinese competition is really coming with the advent of DeepSeek. According to many experts, OpenAI has no moat. A moat is simply a term for a crucial piece of technology that prevents you from the competition coming to get you. Scaling up in terms of the amount of compute that they're throwing at models was supposed to get them to AGI, which is a term that they've coined for human level intelligence. AGI or is it not? I think that became too course as we get closer. But it didn't work. And in fact, the term AGI is actually mostly meaningless. Nobody can really give you a clear definition for what it really means. This is the thing that OpenAI have pinned all of their hopes on. At the end of the day, GPT 4.5 is just another chatbot. It is not the game changer that we've been promised. The hot air around OpenAI is starting to deflate. Money is a big problem. Every question that you ask in ChatGPT costs money, and they're starting to lose money on every prompt. A price war with DeepSeek in China means that the profit margins are shrinking fast, and actually many people are now starting to think that the cost of intelligence itself is going to reduce towards zero. On top of that, they are caught up in a quagmire around switching their business from a non-profit to a for-profit model. Elon Musk is stirring the pot in the middle of all of this, making it more difficult due to his personal vendetta against Sam Altman. Not for sale, neither is the mission. We're happy to buy Twitter if you can talk about that. So it's getting increasingly difficult to see OpenAI's runway, meaning the amount of time they can operate without a whole heap of new cash is going to last. If the iconic investor, Masayoshi Sun pulls funding, they could be in very deep trouble indeed. So what about talent? What about the awesome engineers that make OpenAI the amazing place to be? Well, they seem to be leaving in droves as well. And in fact, some of the senior leadership are starting to build their own businesses. Ilya Sutskeva is raising money. And just recently, Mira Marati, the erstwhile CTO, Chief Technical Officer, has announced that her AI startup is going to be valued at $9 billion. Billions and billions of dollars. Many AI watchers online are saying that actually the outputs are not super impressive, especially for the amount of money that it costs. Then in terms of other services, it's also starting to look kind of bleak. Sora, their video generation model, while it looked pretty awesome at the launch event, actually it's now looking like Google's video generation model is going to be much more impressive. And that kind of makes sense when you think about it. Google owns YouTube, which is the biggest repository on earth for video content. So they have access to all of that video, including this one, with which to train their AI video models. OpenAI do not have this. So here's the rundown. 
down. OpenAI is bleeding cash. GPT 4.5 has not impressed. The talent is leaving and the competition is starting to look better and cheaper in many regards. Now, I say this as a big fan of OpenAI. I use their products all the time, so I don't want to call their ultimate demise too soon. I really hope they do succeed because I love their products, but they're gonna have to start turning it around fast. It's probably gonna be the most competitive industry that we've ever seen. So if you wanna make sure that you're always up to date with the latest news and updates in the AI world, make sure to smash that subscribe button.